continuation of the topic uh, yesterday i was discussing a barometer or a mercury barometer so if you want to measure a pressure exerted by the atmosphere so we are using an indirect method we use a barometer so the concept here the air particles above the surface of the mercury which is exposed to the atmosphere so these air particles are moving randomly as they are moving randomly they collide with the surface of the mercury as they collide with the surface of the mercury so they force this mercury to rise in the tube so as the mercury will rise in the tube it will rise to certain level and then it will stop rising why the mercury will stop rising because what happened as the liquid rises up so liquid also start to exert pressure so liquid is exerting pressure on one side and atmosphere is exerting pressure from the other side so when the two pressure balance out with each other what will happen the mercury will not rise further it will stop rising and we can say that the pressure which the atmosphere is exerting balance with the pressure the liquid is exerting so pressure of the liquid is same as the pressure of the atmosphere and how to calculate the pressure due to liquid the pressure due to liquid is equals to density of a liquid which we use here because we use a mercury so density of a mercury is 13600 multiplied by gravity we are performing this on earth so gravity is 10 multiplied by depth of the liquid so the depth what depth or what height we will take we will take a level of the liquid we will take a distance from level of the liquid in a container to a level of the liquid in the tube that distance we will measure or height we will measure normally at sea level this height is approximately 760 mm or if i convert into meter it will be 0.76 meter this is our normal height which the mercury rises when we use a barometer or place the barometer above or at the sea level or on the ground so example if this is a sea level and we take the barometer to a higher altitude so we have identical or a same barometers one barometer is placed at the sea level and the other barometer is placed at a higher altitude or top of the mountain which one the mercury will rise to a greater height at position a or b a at a the mercury will rise to a greater height as compared to that of b the reason for that because there are more particles or the density of air is higher or air will apply more pressure or it will force the mercury to rise to a greater height so normally at the sea level the height which the mercury rises is about 0.76 meter this is the height which the mercury rises when it is at the sea level but if we take this mercury barometer to a higher altitude so the height which the mercury will rise will be less than 0.76 meters why the height rises less than 0.76 meter because as we move to higher altitude the density of the air is small so 
less particles will collide or as less particles collide a small amount of mercury will rise in the cube and normally we have a vacuum here above the surface of the mercury we create a vacuum So at this point, there's a vacuum. So if I say, what is the pressure at point A? What is the pressure at point A? There's a vacuum above point A. So what is the pressure at point A? Zero. The pressure will be zero because vacuum means no particle, nothing is there. So above point A, the pressure will be zero. Is it clear? The concept of a barometer. A barometer is used to find the atmospheric pressure, how we use it when the level of the liquid, as the pressure increases, the level of the liquid will rise in the tube. Once the liquid pressure is equal to the outside or atmospheric pressure, there is no change in the height and we call that as the pressure, that condition we say the pressure due to liquid is same as the pressure due to atmosphere if you want to measure the gas pressure so a device an apparatus which we use is known as manometer it is used to measure gas pressure by using at atmospheric and liquid pressure in U-shaped tube. So how we use this manometer? So basically it is used to find the gas pressure by using atmospheric and liquid pressure in a U-shaped tube. So example, we have a container. This container is filled with a gas. And a manometer This is a U-shaped manometer. which is open from one end and the other end is connected to a gas cylinder. And there is an opening here in the gas cylinder, there's an opening so that we can connect this manually. We can use any liquid here. We can use mercury, we can use uh, water, we can use alcohol, any of the liquid can be used. So this is filled with a liquid. And when you fill it with a liquid, you observe that the both levels are same. So okay, I can explain it again. So this is a U-shaped manometer. It is filled with a liquid. One side you connect with a gas cylinder and another side is open. So what are the pressures acting here? This side, there's a pressure of the gas. And this side, the right hand side, there's a pressure of atmosphere. So on the right hand side, there's a pressure of the atmosphere. On the left hand side, the pressure of the gas is there. And both ends or both limbs, the level of the liquid is 
same. So what you can conclude about this, you can say, because if both levels of the liquid, both limbs, the level of the liquid is same, what it shows, it shows that the pressure due to the gas is same as the pressure due to atmosphere. Why we conclude this? Because the gas molecules are exerting pressure downward from left hand side and the atmosphere, this side is open. So atmosphere is exerting pressure from right hand side. As both levels are same, the level of the liquid in both limbs is same. So that it shows that the pressure of the gas, so if level is equal, so what you can say, you can say pressure of the gas is equal to pressure of atmosphere. And what is the normal atmospheric pressure? The normal atmospheric pressure is 100,000 Pascal. So you can also say the pressure of the gas is equals to 100,000 Pascal or 100,000 Pascal is also known as one atmospheric pressure. So you can also say it is 180 M. Is it clear? So a U-shaped manometer, which is filled with a liquid. This liquid can be mercury. It can be alcohol or even water can also be used in this. Any liquid can be used, but what we observe if you observe that level of the liquid is same in both limbs, this shows that the gas, the pressure, the gas molecules are exerting balances with the pressure exerted by the atmosphere or two pressures are equal. This is a first condition, like because first condition when the gas pressure equal to atmospheric pressure. Uh, copy this. So can you can explain one more time. On the left hand side, the gas is there inside a cylinder. So these gas molecules are hitting the surface from the left hand side. And on the right hand side, there is an atmosphere. It is open. So atmospheric, the molecule in the atmosphere is exerting force on the right hand side. Because both levels are same. If both levels are same, what you can conclude from this figure? So you can say the gas molecules are exerting the same pressure as atmosphere. Is it clear? Yes. Take the screenshot. I'll move on to next chart. Yes, sir. Yes. What's the liquid uh, used? The liquid used here can be mercury, water, or alcohol. Any. You can use mercury, you can use alcohol, or you can use water. Uh, sir, are there any reasons for that? Specifically, like Normally we use a mercury, why we don't prefer to use alcohol and water? Because alcohol and water can vaporize. So with the passage of a time, if a manometer is left unused, so amount of liquid will decrease in the manometer. So we prefer to use mercury because evaporation in mercury is negligible. And the second thing, it depends on the availability of the liquid like water, alcohol, mercury. You can extract mercury easily. That's why these liquids are commonly used. So example, you have the second case, you have a container which is filled with a gas. So mainly the manometer are used to find the gas pressure, pressure exerted by the gas.
So a U-shaped manometer, which is open from one end, and the other end is connected to a gas cylinder. Why we don't use a barometer here? Because barometer can only find the atmospheric pressure, the pressure due to atmosphere. But gas cylinder, because gas are inside a cylinder, and gas molecules are moving randomly, so it is convenient to use a manometer. So these are the gas particles. And here is a particle of air. And it is filled with a liquid. The liquid which you use can be mercury, it can be alcohol, it can be water. And what you observe, you observe The level are different, not same. The level of the liquid in the left hand limb is smaller as compared to level of the liquid on the right hand limb. What you can conclude from this picture, what you can say, because the atmosphere is exerting pressure from the right hand side and the gas is exerting pressure from the left hand side. So what you can conclude from this picture, which pressure is higher? The gas pressure is higher than atmosphere or lower than atmosphere. So because the gas is pushing down more, so what it shows, it shows that the pressure of the gas is higher than pressure of atmosphere. So that's the theory, but how we can calculate the pressure of the gas. So actually there are, there is another pressure. One is due to atmosphere because what will happen when you connect this manometer originally, initially, when the gas pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure, the level will be balanced. But if the gas pressure is higher, the gas will push this down more. So left hand side will move down and the right hand side, the liquid will rise. It will rise and eventually it will stop. So the moment the liquid will stop rising. So what we can say, we can say that the pressure of the gas equal to pressure of atmosphere plus the pressure of the liquid. On the left hand side, the gas is exerting pressure on the right hand side. There is a pressure due to atmosphere plus pressure due to the liquid on the right hand side. So what we can say, we can say or write an equation that pressure of the gas is equals to pressure of the atmosphere plus pressure due to liquid. So sum of atmospheric pressure plus liquid pressure result in pressure of the gas. And if this height is given, for example, the level of the mercury in the tube the left hand side to a right hand side or a difference in height is given. Say this is 0.8 meter. So what you can do, the atmospheric pressure is known, the atmospheric pressure is 100,000 Pascal. Plus the pressure due to liquid is the density of a liquid into gravity into height. Density of a liquid, what liquid you are using depending on the dense, like example, if I use a mercury, then the density should be 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. If you are using a mercury, if you are using a water, then the density is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. And if you use alcohol, the density is about 850 kilogram per meter cube. So you will substitute the density. If you are using a mercury, substitute the density, gravity is 10 and the height, the difference in the level, that's a height which you will take in your calculation. So the first figure 
when the two pressures were equal the atmosphere and the gas exert the same pressure the level of the liquid in the both limbs is same but when the gas is exerting more pressure so gas pushed this liquid down more so it will rise to a side of atmosphere and once it is balanced when it stop rising what it shows it shows that the gas pressure and liquid pressure the sum of atmospheric plus pressure plus the liquid pressure equal to the gas pressure is it clear the second figure sir in the last figure where is the pressure of the liquid in the last figure in the last figure because the level of the liquid is same so there is no resultant pressure due to liquid a liquid is exerting pressure from the left hand side a liquid is exerting pressure from the right hand side but both are at the same height so they cancel out each other but in yeah. the in this figure because you can see the liquid will apply pressure from this side but the other side the height which the liquid rises is more as compared to left hand side so resultant pressure of the liquid is from the right hand side so 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 the pressure of gas is greater from the pressure of liquid plus the pressure of not greater equal to because it balances it will stop rising so once it will stop rising it means the pressure on the left hand side is equals to pressure on the right hand side so the total pressure on the left hand side is pressure due to gas and pressure on the right hand side is a liquid plus atmosphere so we can say that pressure of gas is greater than pressure of liquid only yes you can say pressure of gas is more than pressure of liquid or pressure of gas is more than atmosphere or it is equal to sum of liquid plus atmosphere yeah all right and the last one the le- if you have a container which is filled with the gas so gas particles are there which are moving randomly and the particles are there in the atmosphere also moving randomly and what we observe we observe the level of the liquid is different on the right on the left hand side it is higher on the right hand side it is lower so what i conclude from this figure what i can say which pressure is higher which is which pressure is higher here the atmosphere or the gas atmosphere pressure is higher so pressure due to atmosphere is higher than the pressure due to gas or in short we can say pressure of a gas is lower the pressure of a gas is lower than atmosphere and when we write the equation now the pressures which are acting this is a gas pressure from left hand side atmospheric pressure from right hand side and this side the left hand side the liquid is higher the liquid rises to greater height so on the left hand side the liquid is exerting more pressure a pressure due to liquid is higher so the so, so sum of pressure of the gas plus liquid because gas is exerting pressure from left hand side liquid is exerting pressure from left hand side and atmosphere is exerting pressure from right hand side so the equation we can say we can say pressure of the gas plus pressure of the liquid is equals to pressure of atmosphere or if we need pressure of the gas is a subject here so 
So pressure of a gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere minus pressure of the liquid. Is it clear? This is the third case when we are using a manometer. In the first one, the pressure of the gas was equal to pressure of atmosphere. In the second one, the pressure of the gas is more than pressure of atmosphere or we can write an equation. Pressure of a gas is equal to pressure of atmosphere plus liquid. And in the third one, the pressure of a gas is lower than atmosphere or we can say pressure of a gas plus pressure of a liquid is equals to pressure of atmosphere. Or when we make a subject, we make a subject pressure of a gas if we need, then pressure of a liquid moves to other side. So we can say pressure of gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere minus pressure due to the liquid. What will happen if we use a man narrow tube manometer? So example, you have two gas containers at same pressure, identical gas at same temperature and pressure. But you have two different types of manometer. One is a wide tube manometer. And the second one, you're using a narrow tube manometer. And in both examples, both cylinders, the gas is at same pressure. So both containers have gas at same pressure. So what we will observe here, like example, what you can conclude from this, which pressure is higher? The gas pressure or atmosphere? Yes, which pressure is higher? Gas. The gas pressure is higher than the atmosphere. And the difference in the level, the difference in the level example is five centimeter. If I use a narrow shape manometer, narrow tube manometer, but with the same gas, so what will happen? The level of the liquid in the both tubes will rise because I'm using a narrow tube. 
so as i'm using a narrow tube the height rise for a liquid will be more so both tubes the level of the liquid will rise but the difference in the level will remain same so whenever we are using a narrow tube manometer what we will observe so if we use a narrow tube manometer the level of the liquid will rise in both limbs but the difference of height or difference of level will remain same so this is a observation so the liquid which we use we can use mercury water or alcohol but if we use a narrow tube manometer because the pressure of the gas is not changing so if the pressure of the gas is not changing so the equation here the pressure of the gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere plus pressure due to the liquid here also the pressure of the gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere plus pressure difference due to the liquid so as the pressure of gas a and pressure of gas b is same so the atmospheric pressure is constant atmospheric pressure is not changing so the pressure of the liquid should not change as well that's why the difference in the height will be same but rise liquid will rise in both limbs is it clear any doubt in this no sir no sir and if we use a more or higher dense liquid high density liquid if you have two manometers one is a wider tube manometer another one is narrow tube manometer and you connect them you connect them to a gas cylinder which is having a gas at the same pressure so what happened in a narrow tube manometer the level of the liquid in both limbs will be higher but the difference in the level will be same in a wider tube manometer the level of the liquid in both tubes will be lower but the difference in the level will be same which shows that the pressure of atmosphere plus liquid balances with the gas pressure and if we are using a more dense liquid if we use a denser liquid like example for a mercury the density is 13600 kg per meter cube for water it is 1000 kg per meter cube and for alcohol example it's 850 kg per meter cube and i use them you don't have to memorize these densities you don't have to memorize in the question it will be given so if i have two identical manometers of same size of the tube but i'm using a different liquid in the first manometer i am using alcohol 
and in the second manometer i'm using water as a liquid so which one you think like here in this manometer i use mercury mercury is at g and the second manometer i'm using water which one you think is easy to move or which show a greater change in height when the gas water. when it is connected to a gas cylinder i connect it to a gas cylinder both of them which one will show a greater difference initially both levels will be same but when i connect to a gas cylinder which one will show a greater change in height water because less dense water so the water will show a greater difference in height because less dense so it can easily or a small amount of force can move the water but mercury is having a high density more particles in a unit volume so it will be difficult to move this or push this mercury so the level difference will be smaller which one is easy to read which difference is easy to read like example when we are using a water the level difference was 12 cm when we are using mercury the level difference was 2 cm which which scale is or which value is easy to read record water water because longer or higher values are easy to detect or record as compared to smaller values so if we want a greater difference in the height so we prefer a low density liquid so if we decrease the density of the liquid the difference in level will increase so we can use a low density or a high density liquid in a manometer now some questions related to manometer for a understanding of this topic manometer and barometer uh the diagram shows a simple mercury barometer the atmospheric pressure increases if the pressure of the atmosphere increase which distance will increase because if the pressure due to atmosphere increases so the atmosphere will push this down so when the atmosphere will push this down the level x will go down and the level w will increase now which distance is increasing so v and v and w between v and w you can see the distance is decreasing so that cannot be an answer w and y y is fixed and w is rising so that is increasing x and y because x is going down so it is decreasing y and x and z x is going down so that is also decreasing so a is a right answer more questions i will discuss uh, this session will end less than a minute so i'll share another link b is the correct answer for this